date what happened. February 9th was the day of their inter-house sports. That was the day they were meant to have their inter-house sports. Anybody who knows Chris Land knows that Chris Land has their inter-house sports as Agege Stadium. Last year, I was not able to go on time. My daughter was angry. She said, Mom, you did not even come on time. You did not even come and see me take part in the match fast. And I was marching. I was looking for you. I said, I'm sorry. I didn't know the way. I didn't know how to find my way to Agege Stadium. But I promise you, next year, I will be there on time. This year, I tried to go there as early as possible. I was there even before the program started. I met the admin officer. I met the principal. I met part of the PTA committee. I met parents there. We greeted. I sat down. March pass started. When the March pass started, I looked. The first house matched. I didn't see my child. Second house matched. I didn't see my child. Third house matched. I didn't see my child. I said, uh -uh. she's in Pines, which is greenhouse. I said, uh, maybe she's um, among the Queen's entourage. Because I remember she mentioned that she's among the, the entourage of the Queen or King or something like that. This one's matched. I didn't see her. I said, okay, maybe she's in the arts and crafts or home economics or IT or photography, or something. Those ones all passed. I didn't see my child. I got worried. I called the school, her school bus driver. Mr. Said, please, oh, was my child among those you brought to the stadium that I have not seen her. I've been in this stadium now for going to some 30 minutes thereabouts, and I've not seen my daughter. He said, ah, mommy with me, I brought her. She's in the stadium there. Don't worry, you will see her. I quickly left to go and do some things. I said, okay. No problem. I, as this time, the match pass was still going on. You know, dignitaries, parents, teachers, you know, everybody was matching the year 12 final year students. They were all matching. I didn't want to interrupt the match pass because parents are opposite where children are kept. As after, after I finished speaking with the, with the driver, he said he, he brought her. I said, okay. Maybe she got hungry and had to leave and buy something outside. Because she had breakfast before leaving the house. I made sure she had breakfast. Knowing she was going for inter house sports. And she was with money. I went to the snacks point outside. I didn't see my daughter. I said, ah, where could this girl be? So I waited. Much past was over. I crossed to the other side. On my way there, I met a, a man. The man said, ah, madam, parents are not allowed at this side. I said, ah, I know. I just want to check on my daughter. He said, okay. I went in there, and I saw some students there. And I asked a boy there, please. Meanwhile, before I got to that across, a bus sped by on high speed, zoomed. And I said, ah, ah, how can a bus be driving like this when you know children are in the stadium? But I just said that, and I, I went on my own. So when I saw the boy, I said, ah, please, I'm looking for Whitney. I didn't hear wrong. The boy said, ah, a girl just fainted here. But they have taken her. The school bus has taken her to the hospital. I said, ha, a girl fainted. Oh, may God give her quick recovery. Why did she faint now? Anyway, I'm looking for Whitney Adenio. She's my daughter. The boy said, the girl that fell, her name is Whitney. I heard them calling Whitney, Whitney, when they were pouring her water. I said, Jesus. Oh, it's not my own child. My daughter's name is Whitney Adeniro. And I brought out my phone. The boy said, I don't know her surname, but I know her name is Whitney. I brought out my phone and I showed the boy her picture. And he said, this is the girl that fell. I said, what? What happened to her? Why, why would my child fall? She hasn't done anything strenuous. She wasn't sick. She hasn't done any, any activity. What is going on? Why would my child faint? A man was there. The man said, ah, Madam Ibilo Durosi, Oshubu, a mini modo misilara, meaning she was standing here, she fell, I poured water on her. I said, ah, ah. who took her? He said, school bus. No ambulance, no doctor, no nurse, no medical personnel, nobody. There was no emergency provision on ground in a place where you have about 500 students. In a place where you have over 100 parents. In a country where insecurity is so high. You kept our children in that field with no proper medical arrangements in case of any emergencies. When the boy said the school bus took, I said, oh, was it my child that was in that bus that sped by? I ran out. I met a staff coming towards me. The staff said, oh, mommy, we've been looking for you. You were so calm and casual. I said, oh, mommy, we've been looking for you. 
um, Whitney fell. I said, yes. And then she fell. She said, oh, yeah, she fell. But well, don't worry. She'll be fine. We've taken her to the hospital. I said, okay, let's go to the hospital. Immediately, I picked my phone. I called my husband. My husband wasn't picking. His PA said he was in a meeting. I said, please get the phone across to him. I don't care who he's having that meeting with. Even if it is the governor, go and give him the phone. It's an emergency. The guy went and gave my husband the phone. I told my husband what happened. My husband said, okay, no problem. Go to the hospital. I will make a few calls and I will meet you there myself. I'm on my way already. I asked the staff, please, where is the hotel my daughter was taking to select him as the principal? We asked the principal. Principal said it was Agege Central Hospital. I said Agege Central Hospital. She said, yes. I brought out my phone. I put it on Google Map. It wasn't showing. I put it again. Agege Central Hospital. It was not showing. What I saw was Agege Central Mosque. I said, ah, Central Mosque, Central Hospital. Ma, it's not showing. She said, don't worry, just ask around, go. They would, they would tell you. We drove out of the stadium to the gates. We asked the gatesmen, we don't know. We asked, as we were driving, we were asking people, please, where's Agege Central Hospital? They said they don't know that. What they know is Agege General Hospital. And now, called, I said, Ma, is this Agege General Hospital or Central? I said, it is Central. That is very close to the Stadium. What you could do, okay? Don't worry, just ask around. Go. They would they would tell you. We drove out of the stadium to the gates. We asked the gatesmen. We don't know. We ask as we were driving, we we're asking people, please, where's Agege Central Hospital? They said they don't know that. What they know is Agege General Hospital. And now called. I said, Ma, is this Agege General Hospital or Central? I said it is central. That is very close to the stadium. What you could do, okay, place now? Nobody were, we were asking knew where it was. We were not able to get um, it on Google Map. I told the driver, you know what? Let's go to Agege Central Mosque. It is central, central. Maybe if we get to the Central Mosque, somebody will be able to help us and show us where the hospital is. That was how we left. Fortunately, on our way there, before we got to the to the central mosque, we saw their school bus by the side of the road. So we automatically knew that was where she was. I jumped down from the school bus and I rushed in. Rushing in, I saw the woman that went with her, the staff that went with her. I said, Madam, where is my child? What happened? Why did she feel? She said, I don't know. She's in there. I went in there and I saw my daughter's corpse. This solar did not say anything to me. I went in there and I met my daughter on her deathbed. She was already dead when I got there and I saw her. All this happened in less than 10 minutes. She was already dead. She was drenched, soaked to the skin, water was dripping. I knelt down. I called on God. I shouted. I screamed. I felt her pulse. No pulse. I put my hand on her chest. It was deadly silent. My daughter was silent. I asked the doctor there. He said, doctor, what happened to my daughter? The woman looked at me and said, eh, madam, from the way I'm saying things, is like cardiac arrest. I said, cardiac what? Whitney was 12. She was 12 October.